Okay, this is part three of chapter two. Um, just a couple more slides to go for this chapter. An acid is a chemical compound that donates hydrogen ions to solutions, whereas a base is a chemical compound that accepts hydrogen ions and removes them from the solution. You're probably familiar with what's known as the pH scale. It's used to describe the acidity of a solution, and each pH unit represents a tenfold change in the concentration of hydrogen ions. So for um, acidic solutions, such as lemon juice or gastric juice, which is the solution within our stomachs that makes chemical digestion possible, those are going to be very acidic solutions. Grapefruit juice and tomato juice are also acidic. Urine is just slightly acidic. Pure water is a neutral pH, which is 7. And then you can see here that anything above pure water is a basic solution. So this is why milk of magnesia and other things that help with um, indigestion are able to combat um, high acid levels in our stomach because they're basically on the opposite end of the pH scale. They're very basic. So another way to think of this is if you look at these little beakers here, a basic solution is going to have a lot of hydroxyl groups, which are those OH groups, and very few hydrogen ions. A neutral solution is going to have an equal number of hydroxyl groups and hydrogen ions, and an acidic solution is going to have more hydrogen ions than hydroxyl groups. Buffers are substances that resist changes in pH. They're going to accept hydrogen ions when they are in excess, and they're going to donate hydrogen ions when they are depleted in that solution. Um, so some medicines will have buffers added to them to help prevent stomach upset. And just for a fun last slide for this chapter two, um, the term chemical free is not a substitute for organic, naturally grown, or sustainably grown foods, although some people think it is. As you have hopefully learned from this lecture, um, if you take any biological system and break it down, you're going to eventually end up at the chemical level. So chemical free really just conveys a poor understanding of biology, chemistry, and science in general because we are all made up of chemicals. All living things are made up of chemicals. And this is a real-world local example, um, an advertisement here. Um, our pumpkin ale, for instance, produced in the fall, uses fresh, chemical-free local pumpkins. Um, it was kind of upsetting for me to read this, just because you know what they're trying to convey here. They're trying to convey that maybe those pumpkins were organically grown, so they didn't use any synthetic fertilizers or synthetic pesticides, but that does not mean they're chemical free. So pumpkins themselves are composed of chemicals. So the statement chemical free, as it refers to living things, is not sensical whatsoever. So I hope that this information has been useful for you and it will provide a little bit of insight and a little bit of um, good chemical um, literacy for you. So when you see something like this, you'll be able to say that's not true at all. Um, thanks for listening and I will get the chapter three lectures posted as soon as possible.